안녕하십니까? 이조은 치과의 손영희입니다. Greetings, I'm Dr. Sun Young-hee of Eagle Dental Clinic. Today, I want to look at a live surgery case. The patient experienced a lot of discomfort upon chewing in number 21, and there was increased mobility. If you look at panoramic image, there was a significant crystal bone loss. This tooth was deemed hopeless. Extraction and implant placement using one guide was planned in order to preserve a cervical gingival contour dual graft concept bone grafting was planned minimal invasive surgery was attempted if you look at standard image there is significant bone loss on the mesial side implant in number 22 was removed i suggested mesial cantilever but the patient strongly wanted implant treatment, so implant treatment was determined. If you take a look at CT as shown here, the tooth is attached only on the apex side. When placing implants in number 11 and 21, there is incisive canal which can interfere with the surgery. So we are not going to invade this area. We're going to make a placement on the palatal side so that there's no invasion of incisive canal. One guide was used. So compared with freehand surgery, it was expected that implant will be placed in a more accurate position. Let's take a look at the surgical clip.
That was the surgical video. As shown in the video, dual zone concept it was used. And when flap is not reflected, surgery can be very simple. As you can see in number 22, there's labial swelling. I thought number 22 was the problem, but after exploration, number 21 was the problem. After extraction, as the source is addressed, I thought that swelling would be gone as well. Upon exploration, this was the source. Extraction was performed and as much as possible, debridement was done thoroughly, guide was adapted. This guide was not printed out from one guide center, it was done by myself, so the resin is different. Implant was placed. Placing implant with guide, there's nothing special here. Implant was placed. We need to maintain labial cervical contour to be able to get aesthetic results. Implant driver was placed first. Internal socket graft using AOS collagen was done. And it was done up to the cervical area, bone zone and soft tissue zone were all grafted, a dual zone graft concept was used. I received patient consent ahead and provisional was not provided. Killing abutment was connected. In this case, in order to maximize dual zone concept effect, it is better to provide a provisional. With just a healing abutment, it is difficult to preserve and recreate a cervical contour. The patient said that there was no need for provisional and that safety came first, so I provided healing abutment and completed the case. This is post-op panoramic image. We need to check whether we have invaded incisive canal. If you look at CT, we were able to avoid incisive canal and that implant has been placed nicely. Collagen graft was used up to the implant top area. By doing this, the expectation is that there will be cervical contour preservation. In the case of single implant case in upper anterior area, without opening flap by using guided surgery, implant can be placed with accurate angle, depth, and position. Simple graft technique was used for immediate implant placement. By doing this, we will be able to reduce the stress. Thank you for watching.